Hi everyone, Alex here. This is part one of a two-part video in which I'm going to show you how to create these customizable concentric circles. These are being used as album artwork for the band Brother and Wolf. In part one, I'll walk through how to create the template for the design, and in part two, we'll show you how to dynamically generate unique variations of this so that they can be distributed as NFTs. So to begin, we're going to Alt or Options click the Ellipse tool to create an ellipse. I'm going to set the fill color to black, enable the stroke and set the stroke to white. We're also going to go back to the shape tab, uncheck Bezier's and set the Bezier's to 10. We now need to stagger the radius so that when we duplicate the ellipse, they won't all be the same size. So right click radius, add behavior, stagger. Open the stagger, set minimum to 100, maximum to 350. Open the stagger graph and click on the flip horizontal icon here. Now with the ellipse selected, click on the duplicator button up here in the shelf. On the duplicator, set distribution to point and set count to 30. We now need to oscillate the original ellipse. So load your ellipse shape into the attribute editor, add the former oscillator. Open the oscillator and check use normals. We'll edit minimum to minus 50 and maximum to 50 and then edit stagger to five. You'll see this isn't quite right yet. That's because we need to add a fall off to the oscillator so that we only affect specific positions along the ellipse. So open the fall off tab here, right click, add fall off. And for this, we're going to do this twice. So add a second fall off now. We're going to edit position X of fall off one to 450. We're going to drag a connection from the position of fall off one to the position of fall off two. So just drag that from position and drop it onto fall off two in the scene window and select position. We're also going to increase the fall off size to 350. And then we're going to connect the size from fall off one to the size on fall off two also. Now, whilst we've connected the fall off positions together, we don't want them to be in the same place. So open fall off two, right click position, add expression, and on both X and Y, we're going to use the expression times minus one, which will flip the original value. So if we change fall off one's position X, fall off two will do the opposite. We're almost there now. What we need to do is add a little rotation to the duplicator. So open the duplicator, right click shape rotation, add behavior, stagger. We're gonna change the maximum value on the stagger to 300. And we're basically done with the setup now. You can get some really cool results if you were to add a drop shadow to the original ellipse and then just offset the position a little bit just to give the ellipses a little bit of depth. Also changing the oscillator's wave style can produce some really fun things. Just have some fun experimenting here, but for now, that's where we'll end it. And in part two, I'll show you how you can use the dynamic renders to create unique variations for your animations. As always, if you have any tutorial requests, feel free to ask and we'll see what we can do. Thanks and goodbye.